helping couples all over mid-Missouri. Still want to hook up? Or at least trying to. Goodbye. Hook up or hang up. It is Y107 Morning Show with Cosmo and Lauren. It's Hook Up or Hang Up, powered by Silver Ball Arcade Bar Hotline. And Kristen is on the air with us. Good morning. Hey, Kristen. Good morning. Hi, guys. How's it going? Good. How's it going for you? Um, Pretty good. I just, you know, just ready to get Eric on the phone, finally. <laughs> So, yeah, we, we were, were curious here, too, to help you out. How long has it been since you've actually talked to him or, or had any contact with him? Uh, I guess I haven't talked to him in, like, two weeks or so. He just, you know, I'm trying to figure out what he's thinking, so I just, I don't, I don't know. Gotcha. Totally understand. Okay, so let's start at the start. How did you guys meet? We met through one of my friend's boyfriends. So we all went out to dinner, and I actually didn't even know that Eric was going to be there. So she just kind of like ambush set me up without either uh-huh. of us really knowing. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Very sneaky. I like it. Okay, so then outside of mm-hmm. that group setting, did you go on just a one-on-one date with Eric after that, or no? Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, I, I got this game, Remy Cube. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. So I just, you know, I figured like that's a good way to kind of get to know somebody so i just bought a bunch of beer and we played it over at my place that sounds fun did it was it good did it go well yeah i thought so i thought it was a lot of fun we got along really well and you know i already kind of like knew him a little from the day like the dinner thing so it was just kind of like we could relax and play it was fun so then what are you thinking now since it seemed like you guys you know, I mean, obviously he agreed to come over and play and, and hang out a little bit. So why do you think it is that he is blowing you off and ghosting you now? I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, like, like he could be thinking any number of things. But I, w- I was thinking, like, you know, kind of, like, tune into my spidey senses. And <laughs> I was thinking maybe, like, he's just not interested. Maybe he just wanted to hook up. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, that, that could have been his mission, thinking, oh, you're, you, she, you're inviting me to your place to play games and have some beers. I think I know where this is going. And then when it didn't. A little chess, if you know yes, what I mean. Yeah. That's our code word. Yeah. Um, well, let's call Eric then and uh, see if we can get him on here and, and you guys can discuss it and let's just see what he has to say and we'll we'll, uh, we'll figure things out from there. Okay, Kristen? Great. Sounds good. Did your date never call back? Have us call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. With Cosmo and Lauren. <laughs> Helping couples all over mid-Missouri. Still want to hook up? Or at least trying to. Goodbye. Hook up or hang up. It is Y107 Morning Show. I'm Cosmo. There's uh, Lauren right there. Hi. We just talked to Kristen a little bit ago. I loved her term, which she says she was ambush blind dated by yeah. her friends. Yeah. Ambush um, set up. Yeah, there were there was a bunch of a uh, bunch of people together at dinner, and boom, here's Eric. And oh, by the way, I think you guys should, should get together. So they did, right? Yeah, she had him over for a little game night, and um, but then since then, nothing. Not a word. Two weeks. So what? we're gonna call him. Hello. Hi. Um. This is Cosmo and Lauren from Y107. Is this Eric? Okay. Um, Why are you calling? Well, first things first, I got to ask, is it okay with you if we record this call and then, like, maybe play it on air later? Uh, uh, Sure. I I still don't know what this is about. I didn't enter a contest or or anything like that, so I don't... No, you didn't. No, no, no. Not a a contest. Um, Well, we actually, we wanted to talk to you about a date that you went on with a girl named Kristen. She's just like kind of curious cuz you you she hasn't heard from you at all. So she's oh, wondering okay. why. Well, I think she knows. And that means what exactly? What do you say that for? Well, she she must know why. Like it's pretty plain and simple. So it Well, it's not plain and simple to us. So if you or to her, I don't think. Spell it out maybe? Well, I <sighs> um I don't know to begin with this. Um, well, when I uh, first met her, I thought I knew her from someplace. Uh, you know, like I, I kept trying to place her, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Um, so then where is that? Where do you it, think you know her from? 
Does she work somewhere? Like you see her, she's a waitress somewhere or a gas station or what? What are you talking about? It's not as simple as that. I wish it was. <laughs> um, her OnlyFans account. Um, uh, she's an only. Fan. She's a content creator, and uh, I never thought this is not planned. This is not what I, I try to do. This is a blind date, so. You know, I never thought I would date an OnlyFans girl, but here we are. <laughs> but, like, why is that a, a huge deal? I can't bring her home to my parents. Like, this is just not going to work. Okay. Well, we're first of all, we're jumping way ahead here right. about meeting the parents. <laughs> like, you guys have been together you hung out twice. twice. <laughs> right. But, I mean, you know, what? You, in a relationship, you have to know this is going to be able to go the distance, possibly. I mean, I think that's important, right? I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not in my, I'm not a 20 year old guy anymore. Like, I gotta really think about long term sometimes. I hear you, and that's beyond fair. I understand that. Let's, sure. let's, let's do this. I think this is going to be fair to everyone in this situation. Kristen is actually here, Eric, on the phone here too. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Kristen. Wait, wait, why didn't you say that from the jump? Eric, no, so I feel like I'm a jerk. You, so you watch my stream, but you don't want to keep dating me. That just makes no sense well, to me. You're obviously like you're attracted to me, right? Well, you I, like I me. can't. I can't be in a relationship with you. Okay, it's just not going to work. Okay, well let me. We ask can you have this. this. Is it gonna? Go is it not going to work for you or for everyone else? What does that mean? Now that's a good question. Like. Are you saying that you don't believe that you could date me, or are you just worried about other people's opinions? I, 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 I don't know. I've never. I mean, it's hard to separate right. that. Uh huh. So then you just are just following what everyone else wants for you. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I guess you're right. Like, I don't have. I mean, clearly, I don't have a problem with it. That's, yeah, because you watch my videos. Yeah. So you think I'm pretty? Well, I think that goes without saying. Well, okay, real quick. Listen, here. we're not judging. No, no, not at all. Hell no. No, no we are a completely judge-free zone on this show. That goes beyond saying we have... Watch what you want, post what you want, who yes, cares? But, but... This is not what this is about. But, I mean... It, we want you to be She's happy. got a point, like... What are the odds that your parents will have seen her OnlyFans? First of all, they're not even going to know that. But like, I mean, yeah. What do you want to go out with Kristen, or do you not want to? Like, that's kind of in your court, not anybody else's. I mean, if it's me, me in a vacuum, a hundred percent. Of course, I do. Yes, we. Had so a really get good in time. the vacuum. But it doesn't work that way exactly, right? Because, I mean, you you know, eventually, and, and you have to make sure, and I'm just scared someone to find out and judge her. And I don't want anyone to judge her because she's awesome. People are going to judge her anyway, cool. and they're going to judge you anyway. That's life. Yeah, I guess. I'll think, I mean, okay. I think both. So, so, so let's, let's, let's do this real quick here for, for the time purposes that we have on the show. And then if you guys want to carry on a conversation, you know, more and more here. Kristen, do you still, after talking with Eric a little bit now, do you still want to see him? Yeah, I do. I mean, yes, that's the whole point. Okay. I mean, Eric, what are you kind of leaning towards? I think I've been being stupid, to be fair. And I, I, I want to I wanna date who I want to date, and I want to date Kristen. And that's what you oh should God, do. Again. There we go. And we will help you date Kristen because we're going to pay for your guy's next date. Okay? Deal? That's Great. amazing. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, thank you all for this. <laughs> okay. Well, hang on the line. We'll get you some info on how we can make this all work. And then um, you guys have fun and um, keep doing you guys. Let us know how it goes. Thanks. We'll do it. Thanks. We will. <laughs> Did your date never call back? Have us call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. With Cosmo and Lauren.